Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another RK's voice acting. I really wasn't planning to cover Peter Cullen so soon in my YouTube endeavor. I wanted to wait until I had more videos out, a lot more experience, because I wanted to do him justice. Being the original voice of Optimus Prime, covering him is actually intimidating. But it's hard not to want to review his career. In my latest video on Michael Bell, I mentioned that I never know what I'll find doing research on an actor. I have to say, this one had me perplexed and sad at some point. You'll see what I mean later. On with the show! Peter Cullen was born July 28, 1941 in Montreal, Quebec, and was amongst the first graduate of the National Theatre School of Canada in 1963. In the 60s, he started as a radio announcer for CKGM in Montreal. Doing weekend transition shifts, he eventually landed a role on The Buddies, a CFCF TV show where he played French-Canadian commander Bibi Lecuc, his first credited role. Also, he got a recurring announcer's gig on the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour on CBS. Something you may not know, he's the roar of 1967's King Kong. But that job discouraged him from doing non-human voice work as he injured his throat. From 1971 to 1974, he was a series regular on the Sonny and Cher Comedy Hour, doing various characters, and later read on his announcer's hat for the Hudson Brothers' Razzle Dazzle Show. During a panel at TFCon, Peter was asked how he became a voice actor. Peter recalled that while raising a family on a small ranch outside of Los Angeles, he'd be waiting for the next gig. While he did receive offers for voiceovers in the past, he wasn't ready. Until he got a call from Steve Fisherman. Yep, the same Steve Fisherman who gave Dan Gilvezan his first shot. He told Peter he'd give him 100% if he'd focus on voice acting alone, and Peter agreed to give him 100% as well. Therefore, Steve sent him to interviews every day. Peter did commercials and a lot of what is referred to as additional voices, which is basically what an extra is to a series or movie. But he did tons of them. His 80s performances are all over the place. After eight years of trying to get into Honor Barbara, his first starting role was playing Mighty Man in Mighty Man and Yuck. Yuck was voiced by someone who would become a dear friend of his, Frank Welker, who I'll have to cover someday. In the 80s, his list of voice performances is enormous. So let's start with the obvious and move from there. He's of course the icon of all icons, Optimus Prime, a role he reprised 42 times if you include commercials and guest appearances. Peter is what people want. Unless a new supply of energy is found, nobody is going to win this war. In the Transformers, he's also the voice of Ironhide. What are you doing here? This area is off limits to civilians. But since both of them died in the 1986 movie, Peter only did minor characters for the rest of the show, voicing Streetwise. No way! The temperature keeps climbing too fast outside! They'll be fine, at least till the ice melts! Slug Slinger. Wait! Mighty Gunfarm! Wingspan. There it is! The key! And Nightstick. The boys are coming! Nightstick! I hope you like busted heads! Yeah! His other longtime running character is Eeyore from Winger Pooh. Since 1988, Peter voiced him 24 times. It's kinda hard to imagine the same man voicing an inspiring leader like Optimus Prime, also voicing a depressed stuff donkey like Eeyore. But that's what voice acting is all about, bringing life to all different types of characters. On G.I. Joe, a real American hero, he's the voice of Airborne, Xandar, and Mr. C. He voiced Tank, Spoiler, and Pincher from Challenge of the Robots. He was Mantor and Skitto from Sectors. He did seven characters in Film Nation's Ghostbusters, not to be confused with the two characters he did on the real Ghostbusters. He's the vocalization of the Predator, which was inspired by a childhood memory when he witnessed a dying upside down horseshoe crab making crackling sounds. Real story, check the interview. He played 11 characters on Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs including Supreme Commander Nemesis and Ramrod. He portrayed Sendar, Gleering, and Orzan from Visionaries Knights of the Magical Light. On Dino Rider, he's been the voice of Antor, Gunner, Mindze, and Bomba. 
and Danny voiced Monterey Jack and two other characters on Chippendale Rescue Rangers. And then we hit the 90s and eventually the 2000s, where to my surprise he did a lot less. Now I didn't research why we don't see his name as much, because my channel's goal is to bring out the positive aspect of anything. But that's what made me sad as I mentioned at the beginning. I feel he should have been in a lot more shows. A great voice like his should be put to work. In 2007, he came back strong when reprising his role of Optimus Prime for the first live-action movie. My name is Optimus Prime. We are autonomous robotic organisms from the planet Cybertron. 23 of the 42 times he voiced Optimus Prime happened since 2007. Other than 6 movies, he was involved with the video games, Transformers Prime, the 3D Ride, the Rescue Bots, the 2015 Robots in Disguise, and after being skipped for Combiner Wars, he reprised the role for Titan Returns and Power of the Primes. And when we all had our hopes up, this 2010 Transformers Hall of Fame inductee was not hired for the War for Cybertron trilogy. That's right, the show based on the toy line that got me into collecting because it's a G1 love letter went with non-unionized actors. After two seasons, that's what drove me to rewatch all the old shows and take a look at what made cartoons great. And the answer is voice actors. Now in order to respect my channel's goal to bring you the positive aspect of anything, I prefer to direct you to a video I stumbled upon doing my research for a more objective assessment of the situation. All in all, I loved every iteration of Peter Cullen's portrayal of the most inspiring leader of all times. I'd love to meet him, shake his hand, and tell him thank you for the memories. I hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of Peter Cullen's career. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Keep coming back, I have more on the way. And remember, Nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!